Are you finding it um, currently difficult to get your spouse or partner to listen to you? Like, um, you youth often feel like there is a brick wall somewhere um, in your communication, so that there's no smoothness. It feels like it's not opening up all the time to you, or it does not even seem to be talking to you again. Maybe your communication is probably as broken down, it's, or is almost broke, breaking down. Um, whichever category that you fall into in this uh, matter, I am going to show you in this discussion uh, three things that you can begin to do today that would uh, make him listen to you and talk to you anytime and all the time that you want. Stay tuned, guys. One of the um, issues that constantly happen in relationship, I'm sure that you have heard this saying before that um, communication is the lifeblood of a relationship. However, most of us have, have abused this um, um, word or this uh, process of communication. Communication is supposed to be a two-way thing, meaning that I'm communicating with you and I'm getting a feedback or a response from you. But most of the time, when people or when partners communicate, one person is communicating, the other person is not getting a corresponding feedback or response from the person. And I'm going to teach you or show you how to begin to do it better in this video. So number one thing that you need to do first, if you want him to listen to you and talk to you all the time, but one thing is that you must learn to listen. Learn to listen to him yourself. See, um, whatever it is that you want from someone else, one of the first things that you must learn is that you must learn to first give it to somebody else. So learn to really, really listen. So speaking to you, learn to pay attention to what he's saying. I mean, if you cannot follow up, I mean, take time that you stop him so that you can ask him to repeat what he says again. And then continue to listen. If you miss out any part again, ask him to hold on and then continue to listen again. When you are listening, you listen without any form of distraction. Watching TV, pressing your phone, uh, and even feigning, oh, no, no, I'm listening to you, but you're pressing the phone. Oh, no, 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 I, I, I can hear you. Oh, but you are, you, are, you are doing something on your shoe. Or you're doing, see, don't kill every form of distraction. Let him feel as though that he has all of your attention 247 for that moment. So listen, learn to listen to him. Like make him the center. Like, you know, you know how um, 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 if you're in Nigeria, this part of the world, how the Nigerians watch football. Like focus on him that way. Like you are listening and looking directly into his into his eyes and his words is penetrating into your ears and into your heart. You are listening without judgment. So listen to him. Number two thing that you need to do, you know, if you want him to listen to you and talk to you always or at all of the time, is that you must learn to respond with love. Now, most of us are not taught this way. We respond the way we are thinking or the way we feel, uh, most times instead of responding with hurt. Someone is communicating something to you that is hurting him, you know, but because of the way that you think that that thing is making you feel, you are responding with hurt. Next time he will shut down. He will not communicate with you that way anymore. So even if you feel certain things and you want to communicate it, that may not be the right moment to do so. So the next thing you must learn to do is what? Respond to him with love. What would you like to hear at that time? If you were in his shoes, what would you like to hear? As well, sometimes you may even be in his shoes and want to hear hard words. It may not be like that. So let him hear what he would like to hear at that time. So respond with love with goodness. Let him feel like, oh, this person I'm speaking to has concern for what I'm saying or this person is really interested in what I'm saying. Now, part of responding with love is the ability to ask questions and keep the communication going. So you're not just listening. If you are truly listening, you're able to ask things. You're able to help him offer clarifications. You're able to help him see things in a brighter way with questioning or with bringing in instances or uh, situations like that in the past, you know, just be in him, be in that communication, in that discussion with him. That is one of the second things that you can learn to do if you want him to listen to you and talk to you all of the time. The third thing that you need to do if you want him to listen to you and um, talk to you all of the time is that you must learn to accept his fully. Now, you don't hear these things all the time. Learn to what accept is fully, and that's like his foolishness. But what do I mean? See. Um, 
sometimes your spouse or your partner is speaking to you and then you just feel like um, this is arrant nonsense like this is gibberish what's, what's this person talking about man oh my, oh, i mean you're even questioning your own intelligence like am i actually with this person like is this, is this guy all right you know and sometimes we all have some of those moments as a matter of fact that can be one of those vulnerable moments with him you must understand that see even the smartest person sometimes have foolish thoughts even the most intelligent man do foolish things regularly sometimes you know or even the biggest man that you know it can be a baby a lot of the times so learn to accept his folly like you are listening to him without interruption and without any form of judgment like you know you know that this thing is foolish but you are making it look like ah, it is wisdom do you understand what I'm saying? Now, you can probably point his attention to it fully later, like much more later, in a very playful mood. But at that time, you are listening to it. Like, you know the beautiful part of it? Is that if you truly accept it fully, and pay attention, and just listen, and just accept him with love, and respond with love, and no interruption, and all of that, sometimes by himself, he will begin to recognize his own folly, and begin to even communicate that, okay, that thought was actually foolish. This can be the right thing. You know, accepting him in love and just responding with love uh, appropriately, asking the right question in love and accepting that foolishness really can help him to truly and fully bond with you. Take note of these things. Now, these things are simple. They are just three things. However, you must learn to do them repeatedly um, a lot of the times to ensure or to help him to begin to fully accept you back, especially if you already have a strain in your relationship and then um, getting to the point where he will always listen to you and will always talk to you. So if you want your man to, you want the kind of man that will talk to you all the time, he's not, I mean, he's not talking to somebody else, he's talking to you, accept him. See, men go to the play, uh, places where they can be themselves, where they can say stupid things and they can clap for them and praise them. You know, now, they want to be accepted in that way. So, but you have a significant order. Why can't you be that to him? Ladies and gentlemen, I hope with this few points of mine, I have been able to convince you and not confuse you that you can actually make your man talk to you and listen to you all of the time. I'll see you in the next video.